22 Magnum versus 9 millimeter with our Winchester silver tip. This is going to be a ballistic test because people have been saying for a long time rim fire is just as good as center fire. It's just as effective. That's what I've been told countless times on this channel. It's only shot placement that matters. And you know, 22 long rifle full or 22 mag is just as good. So we're going to put that to the test today. I'm going to use my four inch barrel Ruger Security 9 to compare to this three inch barrel Ruger LCRX because the overall size is almost exactly the same. If we take a look at this here, they're really going to fill the same role in the same size firearm. And that's really the only way you can put that to the test. Because if people are saying, you know, it, to replace a center fire with, with a, a rim fire is just as good, this is going to be a pretty fair test to do it this way. So I am going to use these rounds here that are silver tip. Now, our, our, our 22 Magnum is a 40 grain, and it happens to be a semi jacketed hollow point. That's just what the silver tip is. Looked, I looked through videos of this stuff. I could not find a single video on this, so that's interesting. We will see what we get with that. And with our 9mm, it's our standard 115 grain silver tip so we'll see what we get for a ballistic performance and that's really the only way you can kind of measure those metrics you can't just be like well shot placement and that's all that matters there's a standardized test for that so we're going to do that so we're going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time then i'm going to do my 10 percent clear ballistics you know a good performing round has got to penetrate to at least 12 inches of penetration and various types of gel this happens to be synthetic but you know, it, the, the metrics are, you know, either by the IWBA or the FBI, you want to get at least um, 12 inches of penetration and no more than 18 to be an effective round. So I'm going to do my plain clear ballistic test to kind of see, you know, what's the best case scenario if we just shoot right into plain clear ballistics. And then I'm going to put in a quarter inch medium density fiber board behind three inches of clear ballistics. This is like our pectoral muscle and it's about half as dense as human flesh. That's why three inches and not like an inch and a half. And then in front of that, I'm going to have four layers of denim because that can sometimes clog a hollow point, but people do wear clothing, so it's important to, to test that real world scenario test there. And I'm gonna shoot from a little distance at my steel target. I think I'm just gonna do 12 yards today, just to kinda see, you know, because shot placement, you know, rapid fire, stuff like that, oftentimes it's said that it's more important um, for, for making quicker shots than what it is for the power of the cartridge. So we'll just see what I can do on steel from 12 yards. So let's get started with this test. All right, I'm about uh, five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. First up, our nine millimeter, rated right at 12, 25 feet per second. It doesn't list barrel length, but we'll see what we can get in my four inch barrel here. So see what we get with our nine millimeter. 12.03. Twelve twenty. Eleven ninety three. Twelve twenty five. Twelve oh eight. Interesting. So we got really close to rate of velocity. With our twenty two mag, it's rated at uh, thirteen twenty feet per second. And it actually shows barrel length, but it shows a four inch V barrel, vented barrel is what it says. Which I believe is similar to about a three inch revolver barrel because they're chambering it measuring it like the way you'd measure a semi-auto. So 1320 feet per second is our rated. Let's see what we get out of this uh, Ruger LCRX here. 1331. 1319. 1323. 1281. 1336. So very accurate. Looks like we got a good point of aim and impact and rated velocity pretty much so that's pretty nice let's hit our ballistics gel block with this with both of these and see what we get all right let's do our plain clear ballistic shot with nine millimeter and 22 mag and see what we get so here's our nine millimeter all right let's see what we get here with our 22 magnum silver tip let's go take a look That is definitely interesting there. Um, what we got here <laughs> with our nine millimeters of penetration of about 11 inches. So it is under penetrating just a little bit. With our 22 mag, I was not expecting that at all. We got a lot of penetration. And it also looks like it all expanded. 
Let me shoot that one more time with the 22 mag and see if we can repeat those results. Cause you know, the nine millimeter is pretty typical. That's not typical for our 22 mag. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time with our 22 mag. Let's go take a look at that. So we had different results. That's very interesting. And we got good damage. We didn't get any expansion that time. Huh. But we did get a penetration of about 18 and a quarter inches. So that particular time we got spot on for our penetration. But, you know, bullets react differently when they hit more real world barriers because, you know, light bullets, these are 40 grains, are not gonna interact the same with our rib simulation than what like a nine millimeter would do. So we'll put our rib simulation in there and we will put our denim on and we'll see how these compare now. All right, nine millimeter through our four layers of denim and through our medium density fiber board. Let's see how it does. Let's try our 22 mag now. All right, let's see how our 22 magnum does. Our MDF. Let's go take a look. All right, so with our nine millimeter, it looks like we got pretty decent performance. We didn't really get any expansion. Here is our impacts. It looks like there's potential for tumbling as soon as it hits that first three inches there and going in just a little bit sideways. But what we're looking at here with our nine millimeter is we got perfectly fine penetration of about, about 17 inches even. And we only have some expansion and deformation. With our 22 Magnum, we have a pretty good mod of damage there that's not bad at all um, but it does look like it's probably tumbling damage and then we went to a penetration to about 13 and three quarters so honestly when we look at all these all these things here all these bullets in here the, none of them actually met you know the fbi or the iwba protocol because you know our, with our first shot with a nine millimeter it expanded but it, but it um it didn't penetrate enough <laughs> our 22 Magnum over penetrated on one shot and the next shot it uh, didn't expand because you have to have at least 1.5 times expansion and adequate penetration to be effective and we look up through our MDF you know we didn't get enough expansion with either of these that's not to say that they wouldn't be an effective round but it's just to say that you know as far as protocol goes none of these really met that so let me shoot my target from uh, 12 yards and see what kind of you know quick shooting i can do with these all uh, right nine millimeter 12 yards from the target well, let me see if i can get a couple shots on target just from low ready here so let me try to do a double tap or a control pair however it comes out so let's see what we got hold the one high let me try it again Alright, as long as I get that front sight picture, I can make those hits. I'm going to do the same thing here with our little 22 Magnum. See if I can get any hits. Looks like I pulled one. I don't have a speed loader for this thing yet, so reloading is going to be a little bit slow here. Well, let me do the same thing where I rapid fire. See if I can get six rounds on target and uh, just see if it's a little bit quicker because it probably is just a little bit quicker um, because I was shooting about as fast as I could with that nine millimeter and uh, not necessarily making very quick hits. So I'll try with our 22 mag. I'll get a sight picture and then as quick as I think I can pop them off. So here I go. So it is effective for getting good shots and you could definitely get pretty good with a 22 magnum so overall what i'm seeing with this ammo now if we compare the 22 mag to the 22 long rifle 
I'm never really going to say that the 22 long rifle is ever going to be a good cartridge because anytime I've ever tested it, we don't get expansion. Even with no expansion, we're looking at stuff like, you don't know, seven, eight inches of penetration oftentimes, except for like the Federal Punch. But then there's just not a lot of damage. With 22 Magnum, it ups it enough that you're at least getting good penetration. Now we had that one really far over penetrating round with the 22 Mag. That that was kind of a one-off. That's not really a typical thing. And in a real world scenario, it's a little bit different than gel. So I just don't think that that was a big deal. But we got overall um, pretty much enough penetration with everything except for that one nine millimeter shot where it expanded really big. So overall, I'm gonna say this ammo will work. It's close enough to protocol that I think all of it would effectively work. You know, and I am impressed that, you know, even through the MDF or 22 mag still penetrated adequately. So it's not the best 22 mag ammo I've seen, but it's not horrible because at least we're getting that rate of velocity. At least we're getting that penetration. So that's what you get today with our silver tip nine millimeter versus 22 mags. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.